Hi, hello, and welcome to a new series for the channel. Um, it's called Niche, and it's um, a genetic survival game. So you'll ha you'll um, you'll see what's happening when you see this. So, here's our little creature that we've got, um, his name is Adam, we're going to start with Adam and Eve. So, try and see if you can still walk. While Adam is selected, click on the pause symbol to move. What a long day. Time to get some sleep. At the beginning of each day, animals regain their action points, which are represented by these gems on their chest. Each performed action, such as walking, depletes one action point. There seems to be plenty of food on this island. Let's eat. Animals eat one food per day. Make sure that Adam doesn't starve. The animal counter in the lower right corner displays how much food is consumed when, when ending a day. Next to it's the food counter displaying how much food has been collected. So you have to make sure that you don't starve all of your animals. So as long as you have more food than you do animals, you'll be okay. But it's very difficult to do that when you have a lot more animals eventually. This island seems to be deserted. A pathway of stones leads to another island in the distance. Animals grow older and die one day. The life bar shows the animal's current age and lifespan. If the bar is full, the animal dies. So we're gonna have to move him along before he gets too old. So I need to move him to the next island to see if we can find another animal for him to breed with and have babies with. So we're gonna move on to the next island and have a look if we can find an Eve for Adam. I'm gonna have some plans on what like what genetics we want to keep because there's the genetics bar in here and certain animals have different genetics and I want to keep certain aspects of the genes in. So I want to make sure that we breed all, all those in. Behind you, the stepping stones crumble and splash into the ocean. It sounds like animals are living on this island. You smell the presence of a member of your species. You can toggle your senses by clicking on the button in the bottom right corner, or pressing 1, 2 or 3 on your keyboard. So we can't smell any- smell or hear anyone right now. So she must be back here somewhere. Hmm. Usually they're by the berry bushes, so if I wait here then maybe she'll come out the next day. Or maybe not. This is weird, I've never actually... It's never actually taken me this long to find the other one. She should be on the island, so... She must be in that patch of grass or something, unless she's in the water somewhere. If I keep looking for her, I'm gonna run out of food. There she is. Okay, finally. So we found Eve, and what I wanted to do is look at their genetics first. So, Adam has good eyesight, but he's got um, short-sighted in his recessive genes, so we're gonna have to breed that one out. He's got 
poison fangs, which is good. This is the, which is one of the um, one of the traits that I want to keep in the entire family. So I want to make sure that I don't lose these poison fangs. Um, big body, which is good for fighting things, and it's got cold resistance. So we need to make sure that we don't go into hot climates, otherwise they won't be able to last very long. Runner leg, hind legs. So everything about him seems to be really good. So let's have a look at Eve. Oh, she has big ears. I actually quite like big ears. Um, she's got two good eyesight, which is great. She's got platypus beak, which I don't tend to use very often. And she's got big nose, which means she can smell a lot further than other animals do. But I, again, I don't really use that too often. So I think I want to keep in the poison fangs as much as possible. So we're going to try and breed those through all of the animals that we're going to have. She has big body, like Adam does, but she also has toxic body, which is really interesting when we get to them. So if we ever do have a, a toxic bodied animal, then it's going to be a, a very weird time because <laughs> they're poison resistant as well. So that's what um, the poison fangs are as well. So they're poison resistant, which means we can um, take from poison berry bush with bushes which are basically these but different colour so I mean it's good but I mean I wouldn't mind having that one um she's got runner leg as well so there's no special pulls on there so we're gonna have to um get some genetics of different pulls front paws we can do different things like claws so we can attack animals better uh, she's got good hind legs apart from this one now, if they were in the water, then I would then I would keep this, but because they're not going to be in the water, they're going to be um, land animals. I don't really need this, otherwise they won't be able to walk very far, and that wouldn't be very good for me. So, medium tail, which is what he has. Peacock tail? That'd be really interesting to have as well. I quite like the peacock tail. It doesn't really do anything, um, but I... I think it looks cool. Um, she's got red brown fur and brown fur. Ooh, she's got a white pattern. That'd be really cool to see if they have a baby and they have a white pattern baby. Um, and then the rest of it is basically the same. So, oh, I forgot to say, she's got the savannah horns, which I never have in my family, which is really cool. So, I want to try and put in this menu that she's going to pass along good hind legs because I don't want those webbed, um, webbed hind legs to get through. And then I've got to put in him good eyesight. And then they don't really have anything else that they need. So I'm just going to put in white fur because I feel like it. And um, let's put in a mask pattern because I like those. I think they're cool. Uh, I forgot to read this. The animal you found is a female called Eve. Adam and Eve seem to like each other. Let's start a family. An animal's sex is displayed in the bottom left corner. Oh, males have manes. You can use the tab key to switch between animals that still have action points left. Great, so I... Actually, I'll breed them now. I wasn't going to breed them just yet, but I will. And then we'll move them across to the next island in the next turn. Because I don't want to have the, the baby on this island because it just gets to a hassle. And then if we get to the next island, we can breed a lot quicker and a lot more babies. And then... They won't get too old because they are i've uh, it took a long time to find eve to be honest so um i want to have them to have as many babies as possible so we can have um the immunity the, the immunity traits um of two of their babies to match up so that they can they can continue having babies eve is pregnant she needs a nest to give birth building nest use uses nest material which can be collected by clearing grass. Built nests decay over time and need to be repaired. Your nesting material counter is displayed in the bottom right corner. So here is a nesting material. So that's how she builds a nest and she can have a baby in it. Otherwise she won't have the baby. And we'll jump on here and she can take her to the next island. And then she'll jump out of there and have a baby in the nest in the next island. Oh, and I, I also um, want to change their names as well because they have some, not weird names in here, but some names that I don't really know how to pronounce and I feel like 
naming them different names would be a lot more interesting. So, I don't think this is part of the- okay, so she's gonna have the nest there. And let's see, I don't think there's any berry bushes around so far. Can you smell anything? Can she smell anything? Um, they can't smell anything at the moment, but let's have a look at the baby. Oh, she's so cute. But she doesn't have the poison fangs that I wanted. She does have it in her set of jeans, it was great. She has good eyes both sides, she has big body, and she carried on a toxic body trait, which is cool. Be interesting to see a couple toxic bodied animals come through in the future. And she's got the peacock tail as well. She's an A star, so we need a uh, a BG, I think, to breed them together. So they've got 13 days left. He's got 14. So she needs to have a lot of babies as soon as possible. Oh, there's a nest here. I'm gonna move him next to her because I don't think there's any birds on this island that would kill the babies but I don't want to risk it um we need to name her as well so I'm gonna go I'll be right back and get some names for her so we have a name for her I'm gonna call her oh you have to do it in here I'm gonna call her Sandy just because her fur looks like sand and I think she's really cute. And then we can move on to the next day and we'll have another baby that we need to name. Oh, he has a... Oh, he, he got the mask pattern, I think. Did he? Oh, he didn't, what? Oh, it's the way the grass was. <laughs> I thought he had a mask on his face, which I thought was really cute, but he actually has that in his recessive genes instead. He's got the poison fangs, which is amazing, but he's got the platypus beak in his recessive genes, so we're gonna have to try and breed that out, hopefully, and get poison fangs in both um, the active gene and the recessive gene, because, um, well, that's what Adam fam Adam's family is, and I, when we reunite him to his family, which is what the eventual goal of the story mode one is, um, they all have poison fangs so he'll be more welcome there though I think if they're um if they're poison fanged family members because Adam sadly won't make it to the to the island to his family island but his his descendants will eventually oh I didn't name him either so I'm gonna name him too and we're gonna call him uh, Griffin, just cause. So there's Sandy and there's Griffin, and they he uh, he has some he has the peacock tail in his recessive, so I think that might be a gene that we're gonna get throughout because none of them have the the medium tail in their recessive genes so far um they both have a star i believe yeah they both have a star so um neither of them they can't have babies so we'll just keep breeding until we have a new breeding pair that can take over from adam and eve eventually and she's got a leech i think she's got so he's gonna come over and pick that leech off of her and then she's gonna go over there and become the berry picker. And we have another boy! And he's BG, so he can actually breed with Sandy, which is amazing. That's what we want to do. Um, he's got toxic body as well, is what I just saw. And he's got big ears recessive, which I haven't seen in either of those. So he's the only one with the, the big ear. He's also got the platypus beak, which he they, so the both males have the platypus beak which we don't want to pass on so the toxic body he's got as well and he's got the peacock tail um he's orange well kind of more yellow than his dad but still and yeah nothing really else to mention he didn't get none of them have 
the horns. They got it in their recessive though. So they that's good. At least we know that we can have at least one breeding partner. At least one breeding pair. Um when these two pass away eventually. And then we can explore the rest of this and we'll we'll probably get their kids to go to their next island. Maybe their grandchildren if Oh, there's another male. Oh no! So we don't have very much food, so we need to find a lot more a lot more bushes because otherwise we will starve our entire tribe, which I accidentally did to the baby. I didn't mean to starve you, I'm so sorry. I didn't name him either. Okay, so I need to remember to name them because I don't usually do this. Um We're gonna call him Ace. Oops. Ace. If we can spell it right. Here we go. Should be good. So so far they've got three boys and one girl, which we do want to change. So let's look over his genes. Poison fangs. Great. So he's like a pinkish colour as well. He's got the white. He didn't get the toxic body either. He's A and G, which means he can't breed with anyone so far. So we're gonna name him. We're gonna call him Ivan from one of my name lists. And before we go much further, I want to make sure that we do have enough food for the rest of the the rest of the family because I don't want them to starve. Which there doesn't seem to be very many berry bushes around here and I don't think any of them have a strong enough attack to actually oh they do okay so they can hunt but I do want her to breed with him at least once more <gasps> there's a berry bush okay so we do have another berry bush and we are enough we have enough to live for today so i'm gonna have them move along because i don't want them to stay in this one place forever she can have her baby in here um griffin can just do some clearing Actually, they can make a pathway to get to the next island. I'm going to wait until Adam and Eva both passed away, and I think that there can only be 10 spaces in this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so there's 10 spaces, so there needs to be only 10, 10 children that can come with us. So, so far, we've only got four, which should be okay. So, we need six more. And they will pass away in seven days okay so that should be fair enough and here we have another one he has big ears he's got bg which means he can also brew with sandy which is good we need another female all of our um babies are coming out males there's four males so far so we need a lot more females so hopefully the next um the next five Hopefully we'll get a bit, a few more females. Because one male can breed with um, like five females, but a female can only have one baby at a time, if not twins, but she can only have them with one male at a time. So it's a lot easier to have more females than only one or two males. That's my, my way of thinking anyway. So let's go back to him. He's got poison fangs, which is amazing. Um, that. Good. Okay, so we can name him now. Oops. I'm gonna call him just because he looks like Mustard and I think it fits him well. So we're gonna call him Mustard. As you can see, there's no pattern in the names at all. I haven't really thought about, um, I don't know, naming them like. Some people do like the alphabet type thing, so one generation is A, the next is B, but I don't. I haven't really thought about 
any name patterns to be honest I've just just chosen random ones so I'm gonna breed those two because they still don't have very long left I think they might be I think they might end up with maybe one baby short I don't think that they can get to 10 babies in time but still I'm gonna still try to make this pathway to the next island because I want to make sure there's a it's a clear way for oh never mind they got twins maybe they will and I just heard there is a bear so this is called a berina which we can't see yet but he you, we can smell him he he'll try and kill us and one hit to the babies will kill them instantly which is something we obviously don't want he is a friendly bear i don't really know what he does apparently they're supposed to protect you but i haven't actually had that happen to me yet so we have to fight that one before they come for us because we're not leaving the island just yet so here are the two i should have leave the <laughs> i should have called this one mustard um well i know i'm gonna call this one what if i you know what i haven't got that far so i'm gonna change mustard's name what's something yellow Actually, no, we're gonna keep him as mustard. What if I just call this one? Uh, actually, no, I'm gonna call him Ketchup because that's what the twins look like, and I'm probably never gonna get a red and a yellow one together anyway. Um, and this one's gonna be mustard. So then I'm gonna change the other mustard's name. And I'm gonna call him Pineapple because, I don't know, pineapples are kind of yellow. There we go. So we've got pineapple, <laughs> uh, ketchup and mustard. So I will always know that they, that ketchup and mustard are twins. Um, ketchup, ketchup and mustard, they aren't identical, which is fair enough. Um, he got the short-sighted eyes, which is not good. And he got the webbed hind legs. This is the two, <laughs> The two traits I'm trying to breed out, and he got both. Poor Ketchup. And he can't breed with anyone yet. And he... Um, Mustard has two good eyes, which is great. He's got a toxic body. He's got good legs. So he's, he's good as well. We need more females. I don't know why they keep giving us males. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six males and one female so far. So really hope the next three the next three babies that they can have i really hope they're female because we need more females to breed where's that right okay the marion is there so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and attack him which i think he might end up maybe hurting one of my creatures yeah there's no way they're gonna they're gonna get to him I'm just gonna have him pick up some food. He can destroy that nest so we can keep up the nesting material because we'll eventually run out because I always run out of nesting material. And, oh no. Oh no, Griffin. Right, I'm gonna have Ace lick him. And they're gonna try and, they're gonna just keep trying. And he got it. He got revenge for him hitting him. So, um, Ivan is going to come over here, and we're going to keep keep making that trail, and have the twins move along. Oh god, that bear scared me. Oh, there was a female. There was a there was a there was a creature. What is she? What is she like? Um, she's not the person. Oh, that's that's a bit weird. She's not she's not too bad, it's just her these bits. She doesn't have very high fertility and I don't want her to I don't 
don't want her to pass that along to the children, but she's going to because she's got both of them not very high. And she's also got haemophilia, which means that they bleed a lot more when they're hit. But I do really want more creatures in our in our in our gang. I really want more. So I'm just gonna invite her in because I think she'd help us a lot. <laughs> so there's those two. We finally have at least one more female. Um, I'm gonna keep her name because she was wondering. She was wondering. I don't want to. I don't want her to feel like we've changed it. We'll only change the the babies that are born to us, and we're gonna change. She's got short, short sighted eyes and she's got webbed hind legs. So I'm going to change both of those and I'm going to make sure that she has good hind legs and good eyesight passed down to her children. Unfortunately, we can't change these right now because we haven't we haven't got the things unlocked, sadly. But I have to make sure to change the genes before I breed them because I, I always forget to do that as well. I play through a lot faster than I do than I should. And unfortunately she's going to pass away soon and when Adam and Eve have passed away I'm going to end the episode because I think it would be great to end that generation and start the new episode with the next generation. So there's another male that was born. Um, yeah, luckily we've got um, Manel just joined us otherwise we'd be overcrowded with males, which we still are but at least there's an extra. Oh, I forgot to mention, she's got H&D immunity genes, which is amazing because we don't have either of those yet, and it's great to have a, 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 um, a lot of immunity genes because quite often I lose I lose at least one and then it's very difficult to breed them without getting sick, sick babies. So, I want to look at this one. He has... He doesn't have the venomous fangs, which is fine. He's got big ears recessive, and he's just generally normal up, um, along the board, so that's fine. They can quite a lot of them. I'm going to have breed with her because I do want to have these two genes, um, these two immunity genes, to come through. And then I think they can have how many babies do they have so far? Oh. If we're taking Lanelle with us, that means they can only have nine babies. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they can have one more baby. So I'm gonna breed them once more after this after this day because the baby's still in the nest, and I'm just gonna keep that nest for her to use again. So that'll be both of their last days. Oh no, he lives longer than her. So it'll be Eve's last day. Will um, bring about the last the last child of the bunch and then we can the next day when um, Adam passes away eventually we're going to move on to the next island and then we can start the new episode on a new island oh no Adam, no! <laughs> oh no! So, apparently we didn't have enough berry bushes. I should have bred them the day before, just in case, but I didn't. <sighs> oh, the biggest mistake. The biggest mistake. Okay, so Eve's just gonna have to pass away there. Let's get the rest of them over to the island before any more of them pass away from starvation. Right, we have to get them, them, these two to run right over because they're quite far away. Um, run. Right, there we go. Sandy's already on the, the portal, so she'll make it. She just wants to get going. I think that's all of them done. And bye bye, Eve. We'll miss you. And then I'll finish the episode when they're all on the the portal, the ports, to get them going. Hopefully I can do that with all of them right now, which I cannot. So, 
Let's get them all over. All onto this port. There we go. It's the next day. And then let's get Linnell on there. I don't think I named him. I didn't. So the last child needs to be named. Um, I'm going to name him after his dad, actually. I know that sounds bad, but I'm going to name him Adam the <laughs> second Because his dad passed away the next day and he was supposed to be... He wasn't supposed to be the last one. But he was. But that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to end the episode here and start the new episode on the new island. So I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'm really excited to make more niche episodes because niche is one of my favourite games. I really enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching. 